this is Renee at Saving a Dime at a Time. I have a quick Trader Joe haul for you. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love going to Trader Joe's. And you have to be careful because you can spend way too much money. But you always end up with very good and usually very healthy stuff. So this is my receipt. And I spent $57.68. And I got all this food. So, one of our favorites, JoJo's. They're like uh, Oreos, gluten free. These chocolate chip cookies, also gluten free for my husband. We love, love their garlic naan. Uh, we eat it with Indian food, with anything. You can make it into pizza. It's absolutely delicious. So, my, my son makes eggs and hash browns most mornings for his breakfast. He's an athlete, so he, he that's uh, one of his go-to breakfasts. So I got some shredded potato hash browns for him. I think these at Trader Joe's are like $1.79, which I thought was a good deal. That's not uh, really any different than the price at Aldi or whatever. So. And 20 ounces for those. Then, you know we love our Brussels sprouts. They had these in their freezer section for 99 cents a bag. And I thought, there's a lot in there. This is a 16 ounce bag of Brussels sprouts. And again, since the qual, you know, since it's from Trader Joe's, you know the quality is gonna be good. Um, I got a pasta for a recipe I'm gonna make. Uh, penne regatta so uh, I think that was 99 cents pretty good deal too my children's favorite everything but the bagel bagels got them a bag of that and of course the seasoning to put on their eggs that they then put on their bagel so <laughs> I think they have a fondness for everything but the bagel seasoning Anyway, uh, little doggy treats. We got some beef recipe rolls, and we looked at the back, and the first ingredient was beef, so I thought that was good. Uh, and you can see the dogs have already eaten a few of them. Our one beagle, uh, Kirby, is supposed to gain two pounds. So I know that's unusual for a beagle. Usually beagles are supposed to lose weight, but my beagles need to gain weight. So, beef rolls. This is a special treat for them we got. And this is chunky beef dinner and chunky chicken dinner. They usually eat dry food, so it's, uh, it's a treat for them to have to eat. I had a child request me make some Indian food, so I got this Thai spice red curry sauce and I got some red lentils. Um, if I make it, or when I make it, I'll include maybe a recipe. Maybe I'll do a video on that because it's very yummy. Tonight for dinner, we're going to have some garden tomatoes and uh, some mozzarella. And then I bought this balsamic dressing to put with it. And I also got a basil plant, which was pretty much the same price as just buying the basil. So I thought... Why not buy the whole plant and then I can keep growing it. So, uh, salads. I got the spring mix. Looked good. Baby lettuce and greens. I think that was like $1.99. I thought that was pretty good. Uh, and I got this mix. Baby red butter lettuce and spinach blend. We love our spinach fresh. Uh, not so much cooked, but we like it fresh. So there's two bags of lettuce we'll eat this week for salads or on sandwiches or whatever. So uh, I was kind of in the mood for sweet potatoes. These are those little like fingerling ones. Uh, this whole bag, which is two pounds, was only $1.79. Again, I thought that was a good deal. Avocados for avocado toast. Four nice avocados in there. 
Uh, I think they need to ripen, but that's not a problem. We're very patient people. We'll wait. Uh, two dozen eggs. Uh, we go through a lot, a lot of eggs. So there's two more dozen to eat and bake and whatever else we do with them. Bananas. I always think they have a good price on bananas. Got a bunch of those, and if we don't eat them, we put them in the freezer. And our new favorite thing is banana ice cream, which you just take the frozen bananas, a splash of milk, and put them in a food processor, and it literally turns into ice cream. And you could even add like peanut butter powder to give it a more protein or to give it a um, peanut butter taste or cocoa powder to make a chocolatey. Anyway, I totally recommend that, that's really good. And then, last but not least, a snack. We got some salted tortilla chips, uh, white corn. So, anyway, that is my haul. I have one more little short story for you. I'm going to tell you about my exciting adventure to Trader Joe's, which anytime I leave my house nowadays, it's pretty much an exciting adventure. So I'll show you what I got and tell you the story. So part of the reason, or the reason I went to Trader Joe's was my mother-in-law needed groceries and she is gluten-free, so Trader Joe's is a great place to take her. That being said, she has handicapped parking, and we parked up close, but because Trader Joe's is being a very good company and very responsible, they're only allowing so many people into their store. So we waited in line, or I had her sit in the car, and I got out of the car and decided to wait in line. Well, because where I live, in my opinion, Minnesota nice, one woman said she would swap with us. She was forward in the line. And so we switched places and we waited in line. We went in the store. We had a wonderful shopping trip. We came out and waited a little bit to go into the liquor store. They were only allowing five people in the liquor store. It's not as big of a store. Uh, we wandered around in there. We came out. I had made a suggestion to the woman who was checking people in and sanitizing the carts that maybe people that have uh, handicap parking stickers, it would be hard for them to um, stand in the line for a long length of time. And maybe they could make some accommodations for, they only have two parking lots or two parking spots that are handicapped. Anyway, the woman was appreciative and nice and said that she appreciated my comments. Um, we loaded up all our groceries and I took the carts up and she said to me, you know, that was such a good idea and I really appreciate your comment. Why don't you and your mother or mother-in-law each take one of the succulents outside? I just thought that was so nice. I mean, it, it just meant, meant a lot that she was just appreciative. And anyway, so this is what we got for free today. Um, this one is for my mother-in-law. She, she picked this one. And I picked this one with the little roses. So that was our little uh, smile for the day because, yeah, it made us smile. And that was... Uh, my fun, and it was fun, exciting trip to Trader Joe's today. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like my videos and you want to see more content like this, uh, I'd love it if you subscribed and liked my uh, videos. And I appreciate all of my new subscribers. Uh, this is really a lot of fun for me to see all the different places that people live and watch my videos and comments. So I'll see you next time.